Nej. Nej, nu är det mamma fan mycket. Det är så bra. Det är så bra. Before Alex can even get her head round why Luke's family aren't there, the groom must away. I've got to go. I'm not going now. I've got to go now. It's 1 p.m. and after three weeks apart, Alex is about to be reunited with her groom for all of 30 minutes. Placing the ring on your bride's finger, could you repeat after oh, me? Look at your bride and don't take your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and breathe, Luke. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And commitment. And commitment. And I call upon. And I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Alex. <laughs> that I, Alex. Do take thee, Luke. Do take thee, Luke. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. And place the ring on his once more. So it now gives me very great pleasure to pronounce you both husband and wife. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And Luke, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. Before Alex can even get her head round why Luke's family aren't there, the groom must away. I've got to go. I'm not going now. I've got to go. go now. All right, I just need to talk to him. Just one second. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm just going to say to him, trust me. All right, let's go. Yeah. Right, listen, I want to chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over. I've got to go. What? Just trust me. What the? You probably just got married and you're leaving me. I've got to go. I've really got to go, so... I don't understand. It's OK. Yeah. You're not supposed to understand. I know it's hard, but yes, we are here to do a bigger picture. With a plane to catch, the lads make a bundled getaway. En route to spending Luke's first night as a married man with each other. I'm going to spend the night with my wife. That's what they do with me for a couple more days. Leaving a bewildered bride in their wake. What, what, are, we, what are we doing? What are we, what do, I, do I sit here? <laughs> Alex is the only person there who doesn't know about the upcoming blessing. I'm baffled. Aren't we all? <laughs> Do you know not... Should we go and get more baffled? Do we not know, do you not know no, what we're supposed no, to be doing? No, no idea. OK. We're it's the strangest end. wedding. And it's not just the bride who's baffled by Luke's lack of planning. <laughs> Thank you. So where's she going tonight? No. I didn't know that he wasn't going to see her. No, he's not going to see her tonight. She laughed and then she realised, no, actually, it is what do we do now. <laughs> but obviously there's so much we can do, really. We can't do everything, can we? A lot of people have had to make up for mistakes he's made and things he's forgotten. And... Yeah, that's it. To try and make it better for Alex. Yeah. Maybe a bit of more than you could chew. <laughs> yeah. So, what we're doing, getting to and home, doing what? Um, I guess we can get changed, we can go and get some tea. We can do whatever we want the rest of the day. Whoever can stay. And then, yeah. 
also way now so far. <laughs> um, someone could go and get my stuff because I'm not going back to the hotel. All right. So I'm too hot. I'm not flipping getting in that car. It's 3 p.m. and with no better suggestions, the bride and her family and friends simply head to the nearest pub. Unsure of what they can and can't tell Alex, the guests are tiptoeing on eggshells. Like everyone else, her brother is terrified of ruining the surprise. It's a complete nightmare. Every time I speak, I think I'm going to blurb out saying about the plans. Not that I know that much, but I know probably a little bit more than she does, you know, for the organisation purposes. But, yeah, it's, it's a complete nightmare. It's really, really hard, cos obviously all the time she's like, what's going on? I just want to know what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. And of course it's understandable because, you know, she's stressed and she's, you know, this is her wedding day. I am confused, you know, as to, I was kind of standing there and I didn't know what was going on. Um, and there was no uh, instructions of what to do. I didn't think that my reception would be in here. I've got no idea what, is, what that boy's up to. <laughs> Absolutely no idea what he's doing. And on what should be the most romantic night of her life, Alex gets to share her bed with her chief bridesmaid. No, no, it's not how I expected the wedding night to turn out. I thought we'd all sort of still be... Partying? Yeah, or, like, yeah, wrap for a drink. Just the normal stuff, you know. I don't think I'll be having a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> with my bridesmaid, ready to go to bed. I thought it was quite strange that his family wasn't there. Um, so I think maybe it may have something to do with going to see his family. Mm. It's the day after the wedding and Luke sends word for Alex to pack a bag and be ready for 7pm. She sets off, destination unknown. Back in Ibiza, Luke's making final preparations. After the damp squib in London, he needs everything to be perfect. Alex will be at Gatwick, Air Gatwick Airport right now. to be getting ready to get on a flight. Coming over here, she... I'm crazy, <laughs> not knowing what's going on. Just as long as I can get everyone out here, that's when I can start making some magic. But there's a problem. The Blackpool Tunnel southbound remains closed, as it has been since half past three. A lorry crash, this is causing all sorts of problems. The whole of East London is absolutely awful. Come on, we've got places to be, get out of the way. <laughs> Dilly dallying along. A road sign alerts Alex that she could be getting on a flight. I've seen a sign that's going towards Gatwick. What could it mean? What could it mean? Well, unless he's taking me to some ghetto in Brixton. <laughs> 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 then I'm kind of swayed to Gatwick. Oblivious to the delay, Luke meets his mum from the airport. You look absolutely gorgeous. Married man now! <laughs> She's flown in from her home in Corfu, and they haven't seen each other for months. Back on the road, the chief bridesmaid knows they are now running almost two hours late for their 10pm flight. We've got, like, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah, 25 minutes. Right, I'm getting 25 minutes. We'll see. A panicked phone call from Alex's dad drops the bombshell that Luke could be brideless tomorrow. If they don't get on the flight, then there is no wedding. We've got just over ten minutes to get there. I wants to hope that we uh, make it there in time, otherwise he'll have no bride there. Okay, I need to get. Same thing. Same thing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> 